Well, hello everybody. I'm getting a new ROM, stable and pretty smooth. I must say this ROM is so good. I've been using this as my daily ROM and look at it. It's so fast, smooth and totally lag free. The best part, it's totally stable. Now starting right off the notification drawer, you can see that we have a whole lot of different toggles. Now that's true, we can actually add a number of toggles to the notification drawer, but that's commonly seen in other ROMs too. Now this ROM has the perfect balance between performance, battery and features. Not more, not less, but the perfect balance of features too, so that it does not make the ROM so heavy enough. The animations are smooth and a perfect ROM for your daily use. You can definitely go for that. So make sure you download the best updated ROM so you get the best performance. Let's check inside the settings what this ROM has to offer us. Inside configuration, we have interface. Here you can theme both the status bar and the navigation bar. So getting the center clock and changing the icon, the battery icon and tint, the colors, everything is done in that part. Over here you can change, you can add the navigation bar button, extra button out there like you can see I've added the power button. So that way you can theme the navigation bar too. Lock screen, nothing fancy. Inside miscellaneous we have wake lock blocker which can help you save your battery. Good in that case because you don't see this in many ROMs. You can change the animations, the list view animation and all those which you see over the screen again and again. And two handy features we have is gesture anywhere and app circle bar. Best and works perfectly for good multitasking. So let's try out gesture anywhere. I've just added the gesture for camera. And yeah, the recording is done in my free time like it's nighttime on my bed. Um, does, doesn't matter. So this was gesture anywhere and let's check out the app circle bar now this does take time to load up bam we are inside so i've just added a few handy tools which i switch over again and again like this one so this one is best for multitasking no matter whatever app you are inside you can just pull this tray off and whatever app you have given allotted it inside this one you can randomly open it whenever you want and even that is fast enough without affecting the performance of the user interface. We also get the long pressing of the recent apps to switch between the apps, the most recent apps which you have on your running apps. Good in that case. Now that was about app circle bar and recent apps. So what else do we have? The ROM is pretty smooth, I must say. I've been impressed of this widgets nothing fancy notification drawer the main part where you can add the toggles like i've added these you also get a whole lot of toggles but i've just added the ones which i use most often i just added the hotspot and there are many 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 but we don't really use them so it depends on you You can even theme the notification drive with extra colors to them. The background color, the icon color and the text colors. So you can just do it the way you want. Ew, this looks ugly. Ugly enough. Um, this was just to show you that you can actually change the colors now. That was a very bad color combination. And, oh, buttons. Buttons, you can actually add a few extra icons, options to the power menu, but not as much as the Bliss Pop offers you. So, uh, like I said, you have a balanced amount of features, not many, not less, so that the ROM does not give it, get too heavy and sacrifice the performance in that case. You also have the theme engine inbuilt. So any CM12 theme, just install it and enjoy it. Performance profile, you can adjust it as you want. Balance, power saver or performance. When you need it, you have it. Inside display, we don't have anything fancy. The sad part is that we don't really have a screen recorder inside and we also don't have 
the ambient display. Even though I checked the change log, I seem to see the ambient display present side, but it doesn't matter, this ROM is still pretty good. Expanded desktop, you can choose individual app and set the expanded desktop however you like. So I'll be having it for the games so that the navigation bar and status bar does not disturb me while I'm gaming. You also get a few extra features. So the battery performance has been really good in this ROM as the battery drain bug has been fixed on the CyanogenMod Mod 12. It has been updated to the other ROMs also as this is based on the CyanogenMod Mod 12. The battery is pretty good without sacrificing the performance. So we also get to choose our preferred install location and it's obvious that you would select the removable SD card and move all your apps to the SD card. Nearly everything is actually movable so you don't really have to worry about your internal storage anymore. And that was pretty much it about the Resurrection Remix. If you want to watch more such ROM reviews then I'll be leaving the ROM review playlist link on the description below to head towards it and check out the other ROM reviews. To watch more such content coming up next, do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned to watch it first. So for now, that was pretty much it. And yes, the performance is really so great in this ROM and check out the benchmark score I've received so far, the best one in any custom ROM. So thanks for watching guys, I'll talk to you in the next one.